Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Master Sergeant Roan Sparrow and will serve as Master of Ceremonies for today's event. Welcome to West Point and the graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. The soundtrack for today's ceremony is provided by the West Point Band assembled on the field to your right. 
Established in 1817, the West Point Band's core mission is to provide world-class music to educate, train, and inspire the Corps of Cadets. As the Army's oldest continuously serving active band, the West Point Band traces its lineage to the field musicians left to maintain the tradition of military music after the Revolutionary War. Over the next 200 years, it evolved into one of the most capable and versatile professional performing groups in the world. The West Point Band is under the direction of the band's commander, Lieutenant Colonel Todd Addison. Please give a round of applause for the West Point Band. Before we commence today's ceremony, I have a few announcements that will help your understanding of proper courtesies for today's event. After the class of 2022 marches into Mikey Stadium, you will hear the order, sound attention, marking the official start of the graduation ceremony. It is customary to rise at the bugle call of sound attention for the arrival of the official party and our guest speaker, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark A. Milley. After the official party has been announced and has arrived at the platform, please remain standing and render appropriate courtesies for honors to the chairman and for the national anthem of the United States of America. Uniformed service members will salute. Military veterans are encouraged to salute and civilians are asked to please show the same courtesy to our nation by removing your hat and placing your right hand over your heart. We encourage you to join in the singing of our national anthem. At its completion, we ask that you remain standing for the invocation. As a courtesy, please rise when the chairman completes his address to the class of 2022. The chairman will then present diplomas to the cadet first captain, the class president, the Army Athletic Association trophy winners, the class valedictorian, and those cadets awarded summa cum laude. The remaining cadets will receive their diplomas alphabetically by company. Cadets in the 1st and 2nd Regiments will be seated on the north side of the stadium to your left. The Commandant of Cadets and the Dean of the Academic Board will present diplomas on that side of the dais. Cadets in the 3rd and 4th Regiments will be seated on the south side of the dais to your right. The Superintendent will present diplomas on that side of the dais. During the ceremony, you will be asked to rise for the arrival of the official party, the National Anthem, the Invocation, the singing of the song, The Core, the singing of the alma mater, the administration of the oath of office to the graduating class, the singing of the army song, and for the benediction. At the conclusion of today's ceremony, the class of 2022 will participate in the time-honored tradition of the cadet hat toss. Children may participate in this ceremony provided that they meet the following criteria. They must be four to 10 years old, between 42 inches and 54 inches tall and accompanied by a parent or guardian who is 18 years or older. The child must be accompanied from the initial screening point to the completion of the hat toss. Once the distribution of diplomas to the graduating class begins, those wishing to participate in the hat toss may move to the screening point at gate three in the northeast corner of the stadium. All participants must enter the screening point to participate in the hat toss. Parents or guardians and children may enter the staging area only after the child meets the criteria for participation. Parents or guardians must remain on the field in the appropriate staging area for their children to participate. However, parents are not authorized to collect a hat or accompany their child to the hat toss collection area. Children may only pick up one hat. Participants will take all directives from the officers, non-commissioned officers, event staff, security personnel, and cadets directing the event. Following the ceremony, shuttle bus trans transportation will be available from Mikey Stadium to Buffalo Soldier Field, Central Area, and K-Lot. The shuttle will run a continuous loop to these stops until approximately 4 p.m. The buses will board outside the east side of the stadium directly behind the dais. For this service, it is recommended to depart through gate three in the northeast corner of the stadium. For our ADA guests and those with limited mobility, transportation is available at gate one outside the southeast corner of the stadium to Clinton Lot and Central Area. 
Be courteous and cautious as you leave the stadium. Bar pinning ceremonies will begin at 2 p.m. Finally, we want to ensure everyone has the opportunity to enjoy today's ceremony. As a courtesy, we ask that you remain considerate of those around you as you take pictures or video. We would also like to remind you that Mikey Stadium is a non-smoking, non-vaping, non-smokeless tobacco facility and to silence your cell phones during the ceremony. We thank you for your understanding. Following these important guidelines will ensure everyone has a great experience today at the United States Military Academy. In just a few moments, the class of 2022 will march into the stadium from the east side of the field. The first and second regiments will enter on the north side of the stadium, and the third and fourth reg regiments will enter on the south side of the stadium. When today's ceremony is complete, please remain in your seat until the official party has departed the area. We appreciate your cooperation in this matter. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mikey Stadium here at West Point. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the United States Military Academy Class of 2022.
Ladies and gentlemen, the West Point class of 1972 will present commemorative second lieutenant bars to members of the class of 2022 as they take their place in the long gray line. The class of 1972, which just celebrated its 50th class reunion here at West Point, has developed a special relationship with the class of 2022. Since June 2017, members of the class of 1972 have engaged with and supported the class of 2022 every step of the way from our day to graduation. The cadet phase of bonding and mentoring between these two classes culminates today when the class of 1972 presents a set of second lieutenant bars engraved with 72-22. The representatives of the class of 1972 presenting the bars have distinguished records of service to the armed forces and the nation during times of war and in peace. I will introduce them to you now. On the north side of the dais, to your right, Colonel John H. Northrop, U.S. Army retired, class of 1972 president and former West Point Association of Graduates board member. Lieutenant General Gary D. Spear, U.S. Army, retired. And on, the, and on the south side of the dais, to your right, Major Robert J. Curran, U.S. Army, retired, class of 1972, class scribe, and the leadership giving officer for the West Point Association of Graduates. Colonel Joseph W. Adamchek, U.S. Army retired, class of 1972, vice president and chair of the 50-year affiliation program. <laughs> Gentlemen, we welcome you back to attend this special graduation ceremony. It is a pleasure and honor to have you here with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, how about another round of applause for the class of 72 and their outstanding dedication to the class of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, and members of the class of 2022, just as the long gray line represents the connection of all graduates throughout the Academy's storied history, today's faculty processional recognizes the dedication and academic excellence of all United States Military Academy faculty, both past and present. Please welcome representatives of the faculty of the United States Military Academy.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the platform our distinguished guests. United States Senator for the state of Iowa, the Honorable Joni Ernst. United States Representative and West Point Board of Visitors Chairman, the Honorable Steve Womack. The Commandant of Cadets, Brigadier General Mark C. Quander. The Dean of the Academic Board, Brigadier General Shane R. Reeves. The Director of Intercollegiate Athletics, Mr. Mike Buddy. The director of the Character Integration Advisory Group, Dr. Jeff Peterson. The United States Corps of Cadets, Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Robert T. Craven. <laughs> Members of the Academic Board and other senior academy leaders.
sound attention. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the entrance of the official party. Present arms. Dance. Present, Present arms. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 25th Secretary of the Army, the Honorable Christine E. Warmoth. the 40th Chief of Staff of the Army, General James C. McConville. and the 60th Superintendent of the United States Military Academy, Lieutenant General Daryl A. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the 20th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark A. Milley.
Stay. Order. Arms. Order. Arms. Order. Arms. On. Cover. Stay. Stop. On. On. Cover. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the invocation by Father Matt Pavlikovsky. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas. From the waters he drew dry land. But in the midst of a seemingly worsening world, with many troubles at home and afar, a few reported to West Point's our day in 2018. Halfway through, many found themselves stranded throughout our country and around the world as a few fought through an invasion by a foreign-born flu and finally returned to our home here on the Hudson. As communist countries and other unsteady actors unjustly invade and threaten their neighbors, many felt and feel pain and fear as a few finished their preparations for lives of service and excellence to our country and to the world. God, I know you came as a ransom for the many. Come and be with us today and smile upon these ceremonies for the class of 2022 who for the many stand the few. Amen. Amen. Take seats. Stay. Stop. Dismissed. Take seats. Please welcome the 60th Superintendent of the United States Military Academy, Lieutenant General Darrell A. Williams. Senators Ernst, Congressman Womack and Davidson, Secretary Warmuth, General Milley, Admiral Retired Mullen, General McConville, distinguished guests, members of the staff and faculty, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, and last but certainly not least, the 1,014 graduates of the class of 2022. Good morning and welcome to West Point and the United States Military Academy. We are so glad to have you here today as we celebrate the graduation of these outstanding young men and women and commission them as the newest officers and leaders of character in the United States Army. First, I'd like to acknowledge the members of Proud and True 72, the 50-year affiliate class for our 2022 graduates. Gentlemen, thank you all for gripping hands with these new leaders over the past four years. We are grateful for your support and mentorship to them and for showing them the strength and resilience of the long gray line. And of course, a very special welcome to friends, families of our graduates here today. We are so honored to have you here in person to cheer on your cadets. Thank you for entrusting your sons and daughters to us these past four years. And thank you for the love, support, and encouragement you've given them along the way. They are here today because of it. Class of 2022, congratulations. The past 47 months has been a tough, rigorous, and challenging experience 
to develop you as leaders of character, prepared to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, prepared for a career of selfless service, and prepared to fight and win our nation's wars. From the moment you first stepped off the bus on our day to your final exam, you have faced and overcome every challenge and adversity head on with grit, toughness, energy, and motivation. And by your continual and relentless pursuit of excellence, you've grown in skill, in knowledge, and in character. And through it all, you've never quit. Always embrace the winning matters mindset and become stronger, more resilient, and better leaders. And now, as you complete your West Point experience and commission as a new second lieutenant, you are prepared to take on the awesome responsibility of leadership in the world's greatest fighting force, the United States Army. You will lead in an army transforming to, the faces, to face the challenges of the 21st century and ready to answer our nation's call anytime, anywhere. You will lead our nation's best talent, America's sons and daughters, and put your people first as you build cohesive teams of trained, disciplined, fit soldiers, your soldiers, teams built on trust, dignity, and respect, who are ready to fight and win in the crucible of ground combat. And you will lead with the resolve and fortitude that has defined the generation of soldiers who have always answered our nation's call. And today, as you graduate and take your place in the long gray line, you grip hands with generations of graduates, past and present, leaders of character who answer their nation's call to serve, guided by the values of our Army and the ideals of this institution. Duty, honor, country. Class of 2022, you are ready, ready to lead, ready to fight, ready to win. And as you serve, protect, and defend the United States of America, Madam Secretary, Mr. Chairman, Chief, it's an honor to present these outstanding young leaders and warriors to you in this morning as the newest officers in the United States Army. Join me in a round of applause for these groups. It is now my great pleasure to introduce this morning's commencement speaker. General Mark A. Milley is the 20th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the nation's highest ranking military officer and the principal military advisor to the President, Secretary of Defense and National Security Council. Prior to becoming Chairman in 2019, General Milley served as the 39th Chief of the United States Army. A native of Massachusetts, General Milley graduated from Princeton University in 1980, where he received his commission from Army ROTC. Additionally, He's an honorary member of the West Point class of 1980. General Milley has had multiple command and staff positions in eight divisions and special forces throughout the last 42 years. He's a tremendous leader. I've been privileged to call my boss and a mentor throughout my career. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome General Mark Milley. Thank you. Thank you, Darrell. I appreciate that. And how's everybody doing today? What a great day. Hello. And I know, or at least I heard, that Admiral Mike Mullen is in the crowd, one of my predecessors who was chairman, but he's also the chief of naval operations. So when I say go Army, you say? Man, I tell you what, I, did, I didn't graduate. I'm just an honorary grad. That was pretty weak. Come on, class of 22. You can do a little bit better. When I say, go Army, you say? Very good. That's much, much better. Well, thank you all for being here. And, and I want to thank also Senator Ernst and uh, Congressman Womack up here on the dais. And I particularly want to give a shout out uh, to Secretary Warmuth and our great current Chief of Staff of the Army, General Jim McConville. So thank you all for your leadership. And I want to thank Dara Williams. Uh, as you know, he's going to be moving on but he's done a tremendous job here as the soup. And Darrell, thank you for your leadership of the United States Military Academy. So 
I want to give a, not only a round of applause for the class of 22, but I want the class of 22. I didn't do really well in drilling ceremonies in my honorary class. So I'd like you all to stand up and do an about face and give a big round of applause to your families because they're the reason you're here right now. All right, now the Sergeant Major just walked up behind me. He said, I have to give the command of about face and then take your seats. So about face and take your seats. <laughs> Very good. They did teach us something about drilling ceremonies at Princeton, but not much. Hey, look at your class earned your motto. The first West Point class ever to have a motto in Latin. Pro multis pauci president. And I know that every single one of you especially the 56 of you who are on the five-year program, I know that you know what that means. For many, stand the few. So keep this phrase in your mind and close to your heart. And here you have become a team, and you're going to be drawing upon each other for the rest of your lives. And your commitment is not just to a job, it's to a calling a way of life. Your parents today up in the stadium, they see their sons and daughters on the field before you. But your nation sees soldiers, leaders, who are going into the infantry and the cavalry and engineers, intelligence, logisticians, and all the other branches. You will be critical to the joint force. I should have said you're going in the infantry and all the other branches. Was it 136 infantry? It should be 236. We'll fix that afterwards. In all seriousness, you represent the quality that gives America our unique strength. You are what makes the United States undaunted by the difficult and motivated by the impossible. And the strength of our nation, this experiment in liberty, is captured in another simple Latin phrase that's familiar to all of us. E pluribus unum. Out of the many come one. And you are a living example of that American experiment. 112 years after West Point was founded, in the summer of 1914, a pistol shot in Sarajevo cast the world into the cataclysm of deadly global conflict, unleashing destruction on a scale yet unseen by humanity and setting the conditions for the Second World War, only 20 years later, the bloodiest war in all of human history. In fact, between 1914 and 1945, three short decades, the First and Second Wars laid waste to countries everywhere. 150 million people were killed in World War I and World War II, the most violent three decades ever recorded all in the conduct of great power war. To give us a sense of what great power war means, consider for a moment that 26,000 26, soldiers and Marines were killed in only six weeks from October to November 1918 in the Battle of the Meuse-Argonne in World War I. Consider also that 26,000 U.S. troops were killed in the eight weeks in the summer of 1944 from the beaches of Normandy to the liberation of Paris. At the same time, 18,000 more Americans were killed in the Central Pacific in the Marianas Campaign when my father was hitting the beach. In total, in that summer of 1944, 58,000 Americans were killed in action in the air, at sea, and on land, in five theaters of war, in only eight weeks. That's the human cost of great power war, the butcher's bill. At the end of World War II, the leaders of 1945 
designed our current rules-based international order. And we are now in the 77th year of the great power peace that followed World War II, and the structure is currently under intense stress. It will be your generation that will carry the burden and shoulder the responsibility to maintain the peace, to contain and to prevent the outbreak of great power war. When America faced its darkest days, it was West Point graduates who stood ready to answer the call. Revolutionary change is going to occur while you are in service. And right now, at this very moment, a fundamental change is happening in the very character of war. We are facing right now two global powers, China and Russia, each with significant military capabilities, and both who fully intend to change the current rules-based order. Yet again, in Ukraine, we are learning the lesson that aggression left unanswered only emboldens the aggressor. Let us never forget the massacre that we have just witnessed in Bucha, nor the slaughter that occurred in Mariupol. And the best way to honor their sacrifice is to support their fight for freedom and to stand against tyranny. As we are entering a world that is becoming more unstable, the world you are being commissioned into has the potential for significant international conflict between great powers, and that potential is increasing, not decreasing. We are also on the cusp of a change in the fundamental character of war. The nature of war is not going to change. It's immutable. It's still a political act. It's a decision by humans to impose their political will on their opponent by the use of violence, as you all studied here. War will still be characterized by chance and fog and friction, and its causes will likely still adhere to Thucydides' famous analysis of fear, pride, and interest. But the character of war, how wars are fought, where wars are fought, with what weapons, technologies, organizations, and doctrines, in short, the ways and means of war, that is undergoing a fundamental, profound, and significant change as you get commissioned. The organizations and weapons and doctrines of the military in 2025 and all the way out to 2050, in that quarter century, in that short period of time, it's going to be fundamentally different than anything we've seen before. Think of the difference between the smoothbore musket and the rifle, or the rifle and the machine gun. The difference between muscle power and machine power, the shift from guidons to radio and internet, the shift from sail to steam, the shift from dumb bombs to smart bombs. That is the type of fundamental shift in the character of war that is occurring right now, and it's a result of a variety of geopolitical and economic and societal and technological developments, some of long duration and some relatively recent. Since the fall of the Berlin Wall, the United States essentially was the unchallenged global military, political, and economic power. And we were experiencing what some have labeled as a unipolar moment. That has changed. You're entering a different world. The United States is under significant challenge in Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. In Europe, we see a revanchist Russia, as we have just witnessed, another invasion in Ukraine. In Asia, we are in the third decade of the largest global economic shift in 500 years, resulting in a rapidly rising China as a great power with a revisionist foreign policy, backed up with an increasing capable military. Also in Asia, we are faced with a rogue North Korea that is rapidly increasing their missiles and deliverable nuclear weapons. In the Middle East and parts of Africa, we continue to see instability from terrorism in many places. And lastly, the maturity of various technologies that either exist today or in the advanced stages of development, when combined, are likely to change the character of war just by themselves. Information technology that exploded in the 1800s has been on an upward curve for over 150 years. The ubiquitous effect is almost unbelievable. No matter where you are in the world today, 
you can be observed from some device. And as you all know, what can be seen can be hit. And the proliferation of information technologies is also rapidly diffusing political power once held by nation states and is accelerating instability. You'll be fighting with robotic tanks and ships and airplanes. We've witnessed a revolution in lethality and precision munitions. What was once the exclusive province of the United States military is now available to most nation states with the money and will to acquire them. There's a wide variety of technologies developing in synthetic fuels, 3D manufacturing, medicine, human engineering, and the enhancement of which will have significant military implications as well. And finally, there is the mother of all technologies, artificial intelligence, where machines are actually developing the capacity to learn and to reason. These rapidly converging developments in time and space are resulting in that profound change, the most profound change ever in human history. And whatever overmatch we, the United States, enjoyed militarily for the last 70 years is closing quickly. And the United States will be, in fact, we already are, challenged in every domain of warfare, in space and cyber, maritime, air, and of course, land. So what are the implications for you? The first thing is to understand the basic outlines of this future world. Although we cannot determine the exact environment we're going to be in in the 30s and 40s and 50s or beyond, we can, through rigorous analysis, determine what the world will look like. There's surely going to be a lot of surprises along the way in development of forces and weapons, but the structure and organization of our joint forces is going to have to change drastically, and we know that. And all of us, are going to have to be open-minded, you most of all. We can no longer cling to concepts and organizations and the weapons of the past. We may not have divisions and corps. We may not have tanks and Bradleys and carriers and manned fighters and bombers. Additionally, the battlefield will be highly complex and almost certainly decisive in urban areas against elusive, ambiguous enemies that combine terrorism and warfare alongside conventional capabilities, all embedded within large civilian populations. In this world, your world, you are going to have to optimize yourselves for urban combat, not rural combat. That has huge implications for intelligence collection, vehicles, weapons design, development, logistics, commo, and all of the other aspects of our profession. The battlefield is going to be non-linear, compartmented, and units are going to have non-contiguous battle space with significant geographical separation between friendly forces. You're going to be much more lonely on a future battlefield. This type of battlefield is going to place a very high premium on independent, relatively small formations that are highly lethal and linked to very long-range precision fires. The exact details we don't know yet, but we need to change we need to change our current methods of thinking, training, and fighting. The joint warfighting concept currently under development will help guide us as a roadmap to the future. But we need to chart that course very fast. And for speed, we need to look no further than the incredible, <clears throat> than the incredible innovative work that the Army Futures Command in Austin, Texas has done in paving the way for the future. The new concepts they've developed and and the weapon systems. In just 36 months, they brought 24 new programs into low-rate production, a record of innovation in scale and scope and speed, unprecedented in U.S. Army history. Technology will change, but this institution is about you. It's about people and the ones who are going to follow you into battle. You are our most valuable asset. You are our most significant asymmetric advantage. You represent what is inherent in the United States military. For we come from a society of improvisers, a society of tinkerers, a society of innovators and problem solvers, and tech savvy at a very early age. And independence of action comes natural to all Americans. Self-starting initiative, disdain for boundaries and rules, nonlinear critical thinking, and an aggressive will to win, coupled with an eternal optimism 
to overcome all obstacles and achieve the objective. All of that is hardwired in our national DNA, and it's hardwired into the heart and soul of the American soldier. In the absence of supervision, the willingness to disobey specific orders to achieve the intended purpose, the willingness to take risks to meet the intent, the acceptance of failure in practice in order to learn from our experimentation, these are all the qualities that you will have to demonstrate. And finally, there is character. On a non-contiguous, non-linear battlefield with very little higher command supervision and maximum decentralization, we must, we have to, develop leaders who have incredible character under the intense pressure of ground combat. And there is no greater crucible than ground combat. Leaders who will make the right moral and ethical choice along with the right tactical choice in the most emotionally charged environment you will ever face. Each of you are those leaders. So in short, the next 20 or 25 years is not going to be like the last 20 or 25. The accumulating challenges we face and the changing character of war is unlike anything our nation has faced before. Globally, there's an increase in nationalism and authoritarian governments, regional arms races and unresolved territorial claims, ethnic and sectarian disputes, and an attempt by some countries to return to an 18th century concept of balance of power politics with spheres of influence. So I went back in time a little bit to when I was you, 43 years ago, and and I recalled some lyrics from Bob Dylan. And we can feel the light breeze in the air. And right now, as we sit here on the plane at West Point, we can see the storm flags fluttering in the wind. And we can hear in the distance the loud clap of thunder. And a hard rain is about to fall. So let us. Let us here and now, in the present, let us commit to not march into that abyss, blind to the changes. Let us be prepared for the first battle as you march off the plain of West Point and into your future. Let us have the vision to change and to prevent war from happening in the first place by maintaining the peace through strength of our military and the example of our values. It is up to us here today, when you graduate, as you get commissioned to commit, you, the class of 2022, you're going to lead us as a nation to the environment I just described. 20 years from now, in 2042, many of you are going to be colonels or brigadiers. 40 years from now, one of you is going to be the chief of staff of the Army, and another one's going to be the chairman. But no matter how long you serve, or no matter what rank you rise to, your job is going to be to deter great power war and maintain the great power peace. Lastly, you're about to take an oath as a commissioned officer in just a few minutes. You've already taken this oath when you first entered the academy. This oath is going to be your forever North Star. And by taking this oath, you're publicly stating that you're willing to suffer grievous wounds. You're publicly stating that you're willing to separate from your family for unknown periods of time, to lose an eye or an arm or a leg, to make great sacrifice. In fact, 1,628 of you, cadets who graduated before you, have been killed in action. They sacrifice all of their tomorrows for today. They laid the last full measure of devotion on the altar of freedom to protect the values enshrined in our Constitution. And this is the essence of the long gray line. You are connected to them, to each other, and to all who come before you and all who will follow you. And if there's one message you remember from today, it's the message of your oath. The message of what we stand for, the message of why we fight. And embedded within the documents that we call the U.S. Constitution and the Declaration of Independence is the idea, the idea that is America. And this idea is simple, but it's incredibly powerful. It's so powerful that the Nazis were deathly afraid of it, 
We defeated Imperial Japan because of it. The communists feared it. The Soviet Union collapsed because of it. The fascists in Italy and the terrorists of Al Qaeda and ISIS, they hate it. They hate this idea. And we take an oath not to a person, a king or a queen, not to a dictator or a tyrant or a would be dictator. We don't take an oath to a religion or a tribe or, or even a country. No. We swear an oath to an idea, and the idea that is America. So, what is this powerful idea? Well, look around you as you sit in front of me. Look around you right now, and you can see that idea. Just look to your left and your right. And the idea is that every single one of you, it doesn't matter. If you're male or female or gay or something in between, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're black or you're white, Asian or Indian. It doesn't matter the color of your skin. It doesn't matter if you're Catholic or you're Protestant or you're Muslim or Jew. It doesn't matter if you don't believe at all. It doesn't matter where you came from, what your last name is, what your country of origin is. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, famous or common. None of that matters. The idea that's in that document, the idea for which you are willing to die, the idea that's in this Constitution that has propelled our nation through some of our darkest days, all it says is that in this country, in these United States, under these colors of red, white, and blue, no matter who you are, every single one of us, by the grace of the Almighty God in heaven, is an American, and every single one of us is born free and equal. And you will rise or you are going to fall based on your talent, your merit, your attributes, your hard work, your perseverance. And you're going to be judged by the content of your character, not the color of your skin. And we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men and all women are created equal and they are endowed by their creator with the certain inalienable rights. And among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is what you are committing yourself to today in just a few minutes. That is what you are all about. That is why you will fight. That is why you will win. And you will never, ever, ever turn your back on that Constitution, no matter what the price is to yourself. That's what guides every beating heart in the long gray line today. And that's what's guided it ever since the first day. So it's now time for you, the class of 22, to take the torch and protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Lieutenants, we are proud of you. You have a difficult and dangerous road ahead, and no one should underestimate it. But you also have the opportunity, the opportunity to navigate through those dangerous roads ahead and to lead our nation's most precious resource, the young men and women who don the cloth of this nation, the American soldier. We all have faith and confidence in each and every one of you. Congratulations to you and your family. May God bless West Point, may God bless the United States Army, and may God bless the United States of America. Right. Thank you. General Milley, on behalf of the class of 2022, we'd like to present you this Golden Eagle as a token of appreciation. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you sir. Please remain standing for the singing of the Corps.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the Academic Board, Brigadier General Shane R. Reeves. Class of 2022, your education has prepared you to be a leader of character, sworn to uphold the values embodied in our Constitution. So, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present these graduates and recommend each as worthy of the Bachelor of Science degree. The Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff will present diplomas to, to the Cadet First Captain, the Class President, the Army Athletic Association Trophy winners, the Class Valid Victorian, and those cadets awarded summa cum laude. Will the members of the Class of 2022 now come forward to receive their diplomas? Congratulations! Holland F. Pratt, Top Cadet, Cadet First Captain, and Brigade Commander. Xavier M. Williams, Class President. Brendan Q. Nickturn, Army Athletic Association Trophy winner. <laughs> Stephanie C. Dollahide, Army Athletic Association Trophy winner. <laughs> Jillian L. Schiffer. Henry H. Thompson. Travis J. Nichols, class valedictorian. Veronica M. Lucian. Reed A. Bauer.
Emma S. San Martin. Richard J. Russell III. Mitchell R. Cook. Hannah M. Blakey. Krista R. Flinkstrom. Peyton A. Visconti. William D. Dickerson. Paris A. Williams. Reese D. Warns. Kyle S. Ralph. Samantha S. Hool. Zachary T. Zaylor. Anna E. Tovkach. Nicholas D. Eisenhower. Mackenzie C. Curtin. Aiden W. Roberts. Clara J. Bartram. Andrew J. Fonseca. Lee Hao Tan from Singapore. Kirsten J. O'Keefe. Jack M. Ames. Sarah J. Guzzo. Daniel M. Marks. Isaac D. Hagberg. Michael C. Matthews. Eric S. Kulkarni. Caroline R. Vincent.
Danielle K. Cross. Sam D. Hassock. Hunter C. Cochran. Ari Morell. Leah L. Erickson. Christina M. Hughes. Ryan P. Kreiser. Daniel J. Walton. Josiah B. Spain. Francesco E. Latore. James D. Jang. Duncan R. Day. Rogan W. Norell. <laughs> William D. Nauman. <laughs> Paul. A. Lubke. <laughs> Michaela D. Rankin. <laughs> Mary. G. Arnold. Adam D. Johantis. Parabda O. Jansson. Kyle B. Stacks. Miller C. Cronk. G. 
Chase D. Plagans. Jack H. Noose. Vincent A. Gaspari. Ava R. Luskin. Mackenzie M. Burns. Thomas H. Moore. Tasia Stevens. Felita W. Zhang. Emily S. Minner. Thomas A. Bat. First Regiment, Daniel P. Andreo. Third Regiment, Seth A. Adio. Briar J. Bears. David V. Bucklin. James A. Beeler. Cole T. Chapel. Cooper R. Brooks. Kiona L. Conroy Humphrey. Cole V. Canary. Margaret C. Covey. Hollis E. Clark. Richard P. Zena III. Mackenzie K. Cope. Jack J. Fisher. Jade L. Estelle. Jordan M. Huck. Savannah R. Fagan. Diego E. Huttapane. Dominic O. Garretson. Samuel F. Jurgalite. Reagan D. Greer. Michael P. Kafka. Helen R. Hedrick. Daniel J. Kim. Bradley M. Laughlin. Ethan Kim. James K. Mathis. Jada A. Lester. Ethan L. Mercado. Nicholas J. Mazzaro. Jordan A. Palomino. Hope J. Mosley. Marshall D. Plunkett. Mary Jo Pigeon. Thomas L. Paulimus. Natalia K. Rivera Rivera. Paul A. Rocha. Stephen W. Rohde. Lo L. Seichow. Caitlin A. Rook. Luke E. Sanders. Altariq A. Samuel. Carson M. Smith. Jillian R. Schulery. Landry I. Songer. Paul F. Stanley. 
Strider S. Sully. Dennis A. Teicher. Adam Tolokol. John A. Titchener IV. Jonathan J. Topping. Joshua N. Williams. Nathaniel A. Wilson. Nicholas J. Williams. Ethan D. Barangan. David W. Woodward. Alexander D. Bartow. Jack T. Bordas. Robert J. Carroll. Aiden J. Burns. Wyatt J. Flynn. Patrick J. Delaney Jr. Vaden A. Fowler. Nicholas S. Dennis. Donovan P. Hinton. Aaron C. Duhart. Mallory J. Hearn. Charlton P. Epperson. Brennan C. Hudson. Zorian D. Flowers. Evan J. Jaksha. Connor W. Prudenthal. Nathaniel W. Jones, Jr. Raimundo Gonzalez. David W. Kim II. Morgan C. Hebbard. Blaine R. Madsen. Jordan T. Jones. Mason R. Maytuk. Robert R. Jorgensen III. Maxwell J. McCauley. Dean M. Kepnang. Lauren G. McMahon. Sam F. Kesty. Casey J. Noonan. Bom Joon Kim from South Korea. Brielissa F. Norman. Tessa N. Kimbler. Theodore J. Pritchard. Anais L. Leon Kelly. Ronaldo A. Romero. Benjamin K. Lundquist. Bradley J. Schweikert. Zachary A. Mitchell. Gavin B. Shapiro. Josie A. Olson. Lean Tree. Rachel E. Orr. Francis C. Veery. Court H. Pease. Madeline R. Whaley. Ryan M. Smith. Brianna C. White. Owen N. States. Mateus A. Williams. Dillian J. Taylor. Courtney J. Zyler. David J. Uzka. Jack T. Brown. Joseph P. Watts. Nathan C. Byington. Isaac J. Anthony. Joshua D. Caldwell. Matthew D. Bassett. Maura E. Callahan. Lillian B. Brown. Palmer L. Chinchin. Cassie J. Daly. Edward E. Crutchfield III. Alexander L. Denha. J. A. DeRosia. Reagan B. Fleming. Alexandra G. DeMarco. Riley K. Fry. Drew A. Durkin. Clavis L. Gilbert II. Michael J. Fallon. Kevin C. Hamilton Jr. Hans W. Fota. Ryan T. Hogan. Chase T. Gedney. Thomas M. Katsinas. Enrique I. Gonzalez. Brendan M. Canispel. Patrick M. Hockmeister. Philip N. Miranda. Christopher C. Hensley. Ian C. Morris. David J. Wang. Jackson T. Morris. Claire E. Jones. Andrew P. Morrison. Douglas S. Jones. Paul G. Russell. Edward W. King. Sarah C. Rutherford. Michaela B. Lowe. Cheeto I. Raconda. Matthew P. Meehan. 
Ryan C. Spencer. Brandon M. Mixon. Angela Joy Vantrese. Joseph D. Moore. Ariana M. Atkins Mills. Mitchell N. Potter. Catherine R. Buckingham. Anna Siri. Ainsley C. Burrell. Dominic Schultz. Jack T. Collard. Nicholas D. Tavasoli. John M. Cote. Shayla J. Thornton. R. Clayton E. Szynski. Amir Udler. Alexander E. Evangelista. Elias C. Utz. Samantha C. Fusick. Cameron J. Barlow. Kyles S. Hamrock. Marcel H. Beatty. William P. Hogan. Gabriella F. Boatwright. Matthew W. Horace. Mackenzie L. Borchers. James P. Irish. Hunter L. Brabham. Jason Y. Johnson. Stephen P. Butts. Jake T. Lanham. Carter R. Davis. Kevin Lee. Samantha L. DeMeo. Quentin T. Marmo. Sarah R. Gallison. Grace O. Martin. Timothy O. Higgins. Daniela L. Mendoza. Joshua L. Jackson. Ryan J. Miller. Polycrit Karki. Andre M. Panko. Hilgen Wack. Marshall J. Pratt. Mason Lee. Hunter C. Richard. Amanda L. Martin. Chloe E. Schretzman. Ryan K. Matz. Matthew J. Small. Grace Reinhardt. Timothy R. Stewart, Jr. Brendan T. Stanton. Justin R. Young. Elias A. Stevenson. George S. Zhang. Rondell T. Thomas. Dorian A. Bailey. William T. Waters. Caldwell B. Bryan. Terrell L. Wetzel. Elise G. Bonapane. Creighton A. Wise. Alyssa H. Chalaras. Christopher T. Blaine. Paige M. Cooper. Maxwell R. Bro. Maria M. Crawford. Lauren A. Carag. Luke R. Davey. Delaney L. Carter. Benjamin T. DeLabelle. Alondra M. Koyasu. Dante M. DeAngelis. Razvan C. Cresta. Caden A. Foster. Noah A. Daigle. Ryan P. Griffin. Joseph R. Dawson. Charisma G. Henry. Logan K. Doherty. Andrew T. Hip. Joseph R. Duran III. Trevor D. Hunt. Chloe J. Foster. Christina N. Wynn. Brandon D. Carter. Caleb C. John. Catherine J. Kaiser. Benjamin A. Kelly. Corinne M. Kurz. William P. Kiley. Thaddeus S. Lepsio III. Benjamin V. Lehan. Landon D. Long. Benjamin M. Meary. Joseph W. Maddock. Ford L. Norris. Joseph D. McDermott. 
Nicholas L. Shriver. David S. Mitchell. Connor R. Urquhart. Malcolm O. Morrison. Sean L. Wilson. Matthew S. Musser. Michael Y. Altenberg. Edward H. Owens III. Rodrigo R. Altolozega. Dylan C. Parsons. Brianne M. Barrett. Mirage S. Viaz. Brenna M. Bowman. Samuel J. Worley. Jerry S. Cable. Colton W. Witzel. Michael G. Cassis. Jacob A. Burgess. Jimmy H. Chung. Edmund S. Cameron. Andrew R. Dunham. Samantha K. Chen. Cedric J. Everart. Marco A. Kopat. Catherine B. King. Michael M. Devine. Matthew S. LaPointe. Brandon B. Escamilla. Alex J. Moeller. Catherine H. Gloss. Mitchell C. Monahan. Heather P. Graham. Luke A. Pengeli. Nolan H. Green. Holden S. Quinn. Matthew D. Hawkins. Utah Y. Rinson from the Kingdom of Bhutan. Samuel A. Heppola. Nathaniel C. Sanborn. Michael J. Ionelli. Waverly K. Schnetzler. Sidney S. Johnson. Nicholas C. Schultz. Casey L. Komar. Samuel H. Shaw. Kyle A. Kovac. Stonewall T. Sisk. Blake A. Ledoux. Joslyn M. Stearns. Simon J. Lee. Jacob D. Sapaya. Benjamin A. McAfee. Miles R. Walker. Matthew D. McNamara. Maggie L. Weir. Paul A. Murray. John D. Winger. Thomas R. Mohamas. Jeremiah B. Adams. David A. Ryan. Adam D. Black. John R. Weigand, Jr. Amelia R. Blackwell. Cole S. Wyman. Alexandra C. Bowles. Kimonte D. Yao. Lee Allen J. Berger III. Dora L. Zoller. Kaylin Q. Bird. Micah J. Bibb. Jackson R. Kohlhauer. James W. Burns. Stephen B. Cooper II. Eric T. Butte. James E. Cox II. Nicholas T. Calhoun. Cedric L. Cunningham Jr. Acacia D. Chai. Madeline G. Friedland. Joseph E. Salenti. John M. Gillen. Nola J. Dix. Zachary R. Glenn. Lawrence M. Dow. Sebastian A. Gray. John D. Feeney. Holton R. Greenfield. Madeline O. Gilmore. Dylan V. Hill. Zachary C. Kimbrough. Kevin Lee. Dean P. Kleinfelder. Alexander K. Wynn. Clayton J. Leonard. Ransom K. Redman. Rosalba Martinez. James E. Sales. Garrett J. Matthews.
Emmy R. Shakat. Hunter W. B. Joshua L. Scherner. Allard H. Peng. Justin I. Vargas. Isaiah K. Queen. Thomas F. Wassel. Emily E. Robinson. Thomas J. Whiting. Harmon A. St. Germain. Heineman M. Andres II. Matthew D. Sanders. James B. Colloway. Jacob R. Schroeder. Andrew H. Kaywood. J. A. Schiffler. Garrett A. Deaver. Eric C. Smith. Max O. Dorman. Chloe P. Tran. Alisa D. Fallon. Jacob A. Wicker. Sydney M. Gadston. Christopher R. Williams. Jillian C. Gonzalez. Michael N. Arnold, Jr. Joshua A. Hensley. Michael S. Bigelow. Alexander S. Inman. Nicholas P. Cheshire. Matthew P. Jabloner. Jordan N. Dingle. John J. Kim. Elizabeth G. Ernst. Mason A. Kolinchak. Morgan P. Ernst. Andrew R. Krar. Maya S. Ginsburg. Benjamin S. Lowry. Marcus V. Hartman. Evan K. Lee. Shane C. Hickman. Brody R. Lowe. Aiden D. Holcroft. Patrick T. McTiernan. Jersey B. Holly. Nathan T. Miles. Sebastian N. Karpinski. Maggie K. O'Neill. Gregory D. Lair. Tyler J. Olbrick. Maura Gian O. Mylad. Anastasia E. Osborne. Julian A. McDuffie. Casper T. Plack. Devin S. McNeil. Paul B. Tan. Armando M. Melendez III. Malachi T. Williams. Christopher J. Miranda. Jaskard Augustin. Andrew P. Quattel. Elizabeth S. Bradley. Lisa Lauren M. Rockleader. Michael J. Byrne. Donald B. Seafried. Tyler K. Cooper. Benjamin J. Spiro. Derek E. Durth. Luke K. Stoner. Nicholas J. Dalio. Jack W. Venker. William K. Gilmore. Joseph D. Waddington. Thomas C. Hanna. Furman M. Wilson. Bryce A. Hill. Matthew J. Weiser. Allison M. Ingram. Michael J. Ainsworth. Chandler C. Jones. Jessica J. Barry. Michael A. Jones. Azur Ben Abdullah. Benjamin T. Kinker. Jacob C. Deluzak. Caleb G. Coyne. Alexander M. Enriquez. Sir. Andrew K. Kratz. Mark G. Fitzpatrick. Tyler J. Lachey. Sierra M. Gordon. Amanda L. McDonough. Nestor T. Grubb. John C. Mendoza. Angelica D. Hepburn. Kiara Pearson. 
David Jung. James K. Pryor II. Kimberly A. King. Isabella S. Reef. Ethan C. Castor. Rachel M. Rittler. Carter A. Kowaleski. Andres H. Rodriguez. Jacob T. McGaffey. Zachariah T. Shalio. Gunner J. Phillip. Corey S. Sheff. August C. Rano. Blake E. Stevens. Marco C. Reezy. Natalie C. Stralkas. Jeffrey J. Ross. Jalen M. Thomas. Dominic M. Spigarelli. Fourth Regiment, Noah E. Aaron. Evan L. Tabor. Tucker J. Chase. Nicole J. Wantlin. Christopher D. DeBruin. William M. Watson. William W. Eckland. Yusin Zane. Jonathan A. Filer. Second Regiment. A.J. A. Harry Heron. Bailey E. Amata. Jasmine M. Haynes. Anna H. Bedford. Avero L. Howard, Jr. Rebecca L. Bouchel. Sebastian L. Jagget. Robert T. Chapel. Jackson J. Jones. Nolan W. Cockrell. Sokyun Jung. Robert F. Coyle III. Nicholas H. Kakavis. Matthew F. Donzi. Tanner R. Kublik. Kyle J. Duty. Su Jung Lim. Colin M. Gross. Brock H. Nathan. Sejun Hwang. Deanna R. O'Grintz. Jakarta M. Jack. Francis J. Ortman IV. Michael B. Jackson. Andrew M. Fan. Vincent M. Cosholo. Cameron B. Smith. Eric C. Casilla. Cooper A. Smith. Nicholas M. Kotak. Kendra M. Strom. Brian R. Lehman. Jack H. Summers. Tyler M. Long. Rebecca M. Surup. Stephen D. McCarty. Liam J. Thayer. Thomas J. Messner. Luke A. Whitman. Oyefe Oola O. Omalade. Nicholas P. Ashby. Adam G. Palmer. Jessica E. Bader. Joseph A. Palumbi. Connor P. Beckman. Tyler J. Radzevich. Christopher M. Cameron. Sinyunak Shin. Leah M. Cobb. Donovan R. Smith. James S. Crane. Cameron A. Thompson. Joshua C. Damer. Eliana C. Vargas. Joshua M. Davis. Sierra M. Weston. Chase A. Desidero Taub. Alexa S. Zanet. Aaron C. Flowers. Andrew J. Allen. Jameer W. Gibson. Lauren E. Anderson. Thomas D. Gover. Timber E. Anderson. Abigail E. Green. Matthew O. Armstrong. Gavin M. Green. Timothy S. Bitsberger II. Craig A. Hamilton. Jenna P. Bostick. Ryan D. Herbrick. Caleb O. Burnett. 
Thorin M. Sean. Ryan M. Camo. Jabari D. Laws. Jasmine M. Conroy Humphrey. Isaac J. Dixon the fourth. Daniel A. Lynch. Michael A. McBroom, Jr. Rachel Ford. Randy P. McKenzie, III. Skylar S. Franz. Scott R. Murphy. Joseph P. Hanyon. David K. Enconsa. Trinity M. Garay. Brandon M. Phillips. Jacob C. Hancox. Pawat Pramraska from Thailand. James R. Johnson the third. Colin J. Reekman. Peter S. Kim. Giovanni R. Sierra. Olaf Korachuk. Alexis M. Villanueva. Jungan Lee. Kennedy D. Warren. James F. McGuire the fourth. Andrew T. Zeidler. Abram A. Marvel. Stephen D. Andreen. Nicholas J. McDonald. Brett R. Boswell. Peter T. Ogunsanya, Jr. Spencer D. Cohen. Connor M. Quinlan. Joshua M. Dale. Dennis J. Rice. Christopher B. Frazier. Lindsey J. Scammon. Mitchell A. Gilly. Jack K. Stecker. Evan W. Lee. Andre W. Alden. Joshua O. Lloyd. Robert J. Absher. Maxwell P. McKendry. Jacob J. Barnes. Brian T. Megan. John Anthony G. Bartley Morales. Zachary J. Ortman. Zachary T. Bolin. Illy Park. William E. Cobble. Sean P. Raftery. Kirsten N. Combs. Isabella P. Regine. Lauren E. Harpole. Sean P. Rogers. Kirby L. Horn. Kaylee A. Rosenberger. Robert C. Kirkland. Isabella M. Salen. Blake P. Leone. Joseph W. Schupler. Charles E. Marashlian. Robert J. Simons. Emily E. McCoo. Zachary R. Ward. Cameo R. Moody. James M. Ballargen. Jalen R. Moy. Jackson T. Beal. Benjamin R. Ostrander. Rachel A. Carlton. Austin J. Packard. Aiden P. Christensen. John R. Ponce, Jr. Javier A. Fernandez. John H. Redmond. Bianca E. Greer. Matthew T. Rushing. Wesley F. Hacker. Mark S. Salat. 
Zane B. Hampton. Samuel L. Schroyer. Cameron D. Holloway. Thomas J. Spencer. Hunter A. Jackson. Miriam G. Tolston. Andrew S. Kim. Brandon E. Walters. Mark S. Kim. Nicholas A. Wandy. Thomas E. Knight III. Lakin P. West. Connor R. Kratzis. Madeline E. Allen. Cody A. Lockard. Garrett K. Brown. Kane J. Lounsbury. Joseph C. Chellis. Nicholas Manessis. Megan D. Colpo. Aliun A. Mbuch. Nana K. Donkwa. Michael A. Mboni. Kirsten M. Douglas. Hunter B. Makosh. Tyler B. Harmon. Maximilian D. McHale. Declan G. Henriques. Caitlin J. Murray. Thomas S. Hilt. Soonju Myung. Bliss Hutchings. Preston L. Pounds. Colin R. Jones. Alejandro R. Kiro Starvo. Catherine L. Leewalk. Alexi N. Rengel. Cole J. Lindell. Thomas H. Sonny III. Madison Laverso. Davis E. Ulrich. Jonathan T. Meinke. Nanke Burma. Caroline M. Raymond. Valentina M. Vincent. John J. Scully. Michael A. Acevedo. Grace L. Turner. Emily L. Barnhorst. Taylor H. Ufford. Garrett W. Bates. Stephen M. Valenti. Reese H. Camp. Spencer L. Walsh. Alexander M. Craig. Karen R. Yan. Monica L. Davis. Justin M. Altroji. Sean M. Eckert. Matthew E. Buchanan. Ezra N. Grant. Nabuchi N. Buhindwa. Tommy L. Hall III. Justin A. Carozo. Andrew J. Harvey. Eric M. Salia. Brandon C. Hernandez. Noah T. Cirillo. Anaya Halai from Albania. Keller W. Conroe. Connor S. Hogue. William G. Considine. John M. Johnson IV. Liam M. Davenport. Jake T. Killian. Jolie Dewong. Noah P. Kim. Timothy J. Foss. David S. Lee. Christopher R. Fox. Conrad W. Markert. Ezra L. Harris. Dylan J. Nunn. Che Chi Hu. Lauren L. Ausby. Carter J. Macias. Brandon V. Palmatier. Kobe E. Mack. Caitlin P. Schwarting. Ashley N. Merritt. Kiara S. Sweeney. Sean A. Michael. Spencer R. Alexander. Alexander W. Murphy. Sarah M. Bon. Anessa J. Ridley. Thomas C. Brown. Justice G. Robertson. Andrew R. Corkery. Robert A. Rosaza. Brennan B. Carlson. Maxwell A. Sackett. Mackenzie K. Crandall. 
Kevin A. Simbrat Jr. Calvin L. Eisenberg. Taylor M. Sullivan. Roxana O. Gazinski. John F. Swanton. John C. Gordon. John M. Terrell. Matthew A. Gray. Anna K. Vintage. Devin M. Greenfield. Kevin A. Vrabelik, Jr. Emma R. Hampel. Mercy E. Allen. Oren K. Harble. Colin J. Bielik. Roy A. Hopgood. Curtis D. Clute. Gavin O. Jones. Patrick N. Dominique. Christopher X. Kyle. John H. Ellisher. Peyton W. Laughlin. Patrick R. Hetler. Emily E. Leahy. Daniel J. Kilbasa. Rick F. Massey. Jacob J. Kabuski. Jessica J. Min. Margot E. Kovacnik. Nolan R. Pierce. Nikita Y. Larachev. Bradley D. Pease. John J. McGorry III. William D. Porter. Mena T. Mohammed. Deanna A. Powell. Joshua C. Moore. Cody S. Quelland. Jaden J. Pittman. Minky Sayo. Grant D. Raleigh. Alexander P. Sobeski. Taylor R. Sherlamore. Jackson D. Turner. Amelia I. Schrader. John Christopher A. Watson. Keyshawn T. Sullivan. Danielle K. Wartman. Phoenix C. Tabasso. Evan Zhang. Shirley C. Tang. Jonathan G. Andrews. Jake T. Bullman. Michael Bellsberg. Luke R. Windish. Maxwell A. Blackman. Caitlin E. Zotter. Robert E. Bolin. Daniel J. Alemo. Cameron B. Ceruto. Alexander A. Amaya. Naomi A. Collin. James W. Ariel. Raph L. Horton III. Olivia A. Carter. Eleanor D. Drexler. Austin L. Chambers. William J. English. Dominic P. Creno. Madison E. Faust. William G. Franga. John A. Flaherty. Skander Ghazani. Wyatt L. Fornstrom. Zachary R. Harding. Brooks H. Jose. Shania K. Harris. Cameron T. Jones. Gabrielle H. Ingram. David Kim. Michael J. Kaler. Tucker S. Martin. Jack J. Kotak. Michelle McIntosh. Daniel B. Lord. Rebecca L. McNeil. Thomas E. Lubno III. Madeline G. Asuna. Patrick D. McLean. Clayton N. Porquero. Eric J. Manning. Mark D. Quesnel. Ryan M. McAuliffe. Nicholas J. Cerna. David R. McDonald III. 
Carissa N. Swanson. Darby M. Nelligan. Luke D. Turner. Liam M. O'Malley. Finian E. Baye. Epiphany V. Owenuma Don King. John P. Wharton. Benjamin D. Pyle. Jane Y. Yan. Kirk R. Ruo. Cade M. Barnard. Mark J. Salzman. Casey T. Buck. Shannon R. Almanera. Christopher A. Burleson. Uriah N. Armstrong. Jacob G. Casale. Austin T. Arnett. Wilson A. Cato. Margaret R. Ballou. Rachel L. Dodson. Luke J. Beach. Tyler E. Gayton. Rory A. Blankenship. Molly M. Golden. Ethan N. Burby. Danielle L. Hyder. David R. Gorshine. Leo E. Henry. Brent M. Houck. Nathaniel L. Holloway III. Blake W. Havern. Chris Jin. Catherine M. Hoffman. Nicholas B. Jones. Robert D. Howe. Michal Kaminski from Poland. Kiana D. Jackson. Jason Lee. Noah H. Knapp. Nicholas A. Listerman. David T. Martin. Jason L. Longwell. Sean T. McNulty. Stephen M. Lopez. Alexander O. Mensa. Jack W. McCorrick. Jan V. Andrzejczyk. Christina E. Mackey. Daniel J. Peedy. Matthew A. Martin. Oscar K. Pereira. Massimo D. Menguito. Blake D. Rhymes. Hannah C. Percher. Jonathan P. Rhymers Peters. Ethan J. Rabb. Michael I. Roberts. Stone M. Sawyer. David Y. Song. Peter J. Schrader. Matthew A. Tilk. Lauren E. Stovar. Taylor M. Topping. Conrad Z. Barbry. Andrew I. Watts. Paola A. Bo. Joshua A. Barnes. Jordan B. Coleman. Jackson R. Barnwell. Kaylee J. Conrad. James L. Bellucci. Philip T. Dainty. Seth B. Bolden. Isaac J. Ford. Hayden C. Bollinger. Adam M. Fuquay. Kobe M. Budak. Ty A. Homan. Jordan M. Davis. Emily R. Iannotti. Jared A. Duquesne. Victoria M. Kearns. Emily P. Donallo. Kyle D. Craig. Mackenzie M. Doyle. Jacob D. Lauk. Samantha S. Edwards. Nicholas E. Mackey. Mallory B. Eichen. Gerardo A. Marengo. Sarah G. Furch. Calvin R. McKee. Chase M. Harkins. Natalie A. Murphy. Megan E. Hutter. Tavares M. Pearson, Jr. Esther J. Kang. Rahul Pushpala. Franklin T. Lee. Nicholas A. Ramos. 
Thomas J. Luzo III. Ramsey R. Ruabia. Anthony T. Larico. Mulangarlio D. Rugema. Joshua J. Mitchell. Garrett E. Smoot. Josiah S. Wright. Benjamin C. Sullivan. Joshua C. Ridden. Ian A. Chelta. Brandon M. Roy. Ellington M. Ward. Carissa A. Stubblefield. Sean A. Welsh. Brendan J. Thiel. Benjamin D. Westberg. John C. Walden. Crystal Jung. Tristan S. Williams. Darian L. York. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the singing of the alma mater. Please remain standing while the oath of office is administered to the class of 2022 by the United States Military Academy Commandant of Cadets, Brigadier General Mark C. Quander. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your full name. I, Holland Faith Pratt. Having been appointed an officer. Having been appointed an officer. In the Army of the United States. In the Army of the United States. And the grade of second lieutenant. And the grade of second lieutenant. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution. That I will support and defend the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. 
that it will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Please lower your hand. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing and join in the singing of the official Army song, The Army Goes Rolling Along. Please remain standing for the benediction by Chaplain Keith Good. Everybody breathe. Whew. I invite you to join me as we bless the class of 2022. Oh Lord, it is said that a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step and looking back on the steps that have made up this incredible 47 month journey. We cannot help but be thankful for the memories that have been made along this path, both the good and the bad, for Beast and Buckner, for social runs and ring weekends, for friendships made and hearts broken. Lord, we'll even be thankful for COVID challenges and yodel. It has been an incredible thousand mile journey. But Lord, they have now crossed this stage and now they step out into the world to begin again. In this journey of life, Lord, I ask that you bless these few with a leadership that is strong, with lessons that are deep, love that is real, and laughter that is lasting. Dear Lord, bless them, keep them, make your face smile upon them. Dear Lord, give them your peace. Amen. Amen. Dance, read, cover. Coming on, take charge. Lieutenant Pratt, dismiss the graduating class. Graduating class, re cover. Class of 2022, dismissed. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.